continue to believe that I have the best job in science. For the last two and a half years, I've been the editor-at-large for the Journal of Clinical Investigation, and in this capacity, I've acted as chief interviewer for the series Conversations with Giants in Medicine. In that time, we've aired 26 interviews with 28 scintillating scientists. Among them, two Knight Bachelors, eight members of the HHMI, 10 Lasker Award winners, 8 Nobel laureates, 25 members of the Institute of Medicine, and 24 members of the National Academy of Sciences. They've told some amazing stories, some better and stranger than fiction. Their stories are courageous, interesting, compelling, and they've totally captivated me. Well, I mean, I'll be very frank, I think it's perfectly clear. Senior year of medical school. Well, we, we don't we keep a running a school. Yes, you're referring to, to, to a, a... Is there therapeutic potential? Uh, in medical school, I had the... I'd ha I'll have to go back and count them up. I can't... I think answer. during that year, I really fell in love with working in a laboratory. I loved yes, uh, that was a... Um, um, yes, that was an interesting experience, which I... One of the ironies of my life is that... It was an, my only epiphany of my life. I wanted to study the interface between... It's yeah. fascinating, uh, and I don't think we've, I'd hoped for it here, so at the time. And, and I remember on that.